and we are kicking off today getting ready for the big game but we're doing it in a very healthy way with one fruit or vegetable or it, I mean, it's it's healthy for you. Oh, no, 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 this is very good for you. This is good yeah, for you, and yeah. it's called jackfruit. You've probably seen it in Whole Foods or Fresh Time, but it's probably something you've maybe never cooked before. Right. We have one expert here with us today, and she's gonna be walking us through some delicious recipes. Joining us is Karen Dugan. She is the STL Veg Girl, and we are making delicious jackfruit recipes. Yes, yeah, so jackfruit, by the way, here's a picture of a woman uh, in the Philippines with a jackfruit. This is a very mature jackfruit. They are the world's largest tree fruit, actually. You do not want to be under one of these suckers when they fall. Uh, no. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. A coconut is okay, this, this not so not. much. And how big can these actually get? These range anywhere from 10 pounds to about 100 pounds fully grown. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, the, and when they are that large, when they are that mature, they're very, very sweet, like almost like too sweet to eat. But what we're using today is an underripe jackfruit or a young jackfruit. And that's what you're going to find in, here's a couple of cans. Uh, if you're out shopping, Trader Joe's, and this one's from uh, Global. They're about, you know, like $1.49 each, very inexpensive. They come in these 20 ounce cans and they're really, it's really easy to work with. So, and they're inexpensive, but not only are they inexpensive, but they're healthy too yes. for you, right? right? What are some of the nutrients inside of jackfruit? So I am such a lover of jackfruit for so many reasons, because it's very, very low in calories. This entire can is 50 calories. This entire can is 80 calories. There's probably just a density issue there. Um, high in fiber, and you know I am the biggest fiber geek around. <laughs> fiber you want for you. If you want things to keep moving, just keeping through it you, flowing. You need to get. You need more fiber in your diet. You're only going to find fiber in plants. This can, each one of these cans. Let's see, this is seven. So 14 grams of fiber in each wow, can. Wow, that's a lot of fiber. Well, Americans get norm, you know, about 12 to 15 grams a day. That's it. This is 14 for the entire can, and that's just one ingredient. So please, fiber. It's also higher in magnesium, which is great for our sleep, right? So, but you know what? I really want you to get to work I here. know, okay, so put me to okay. work. Okay, so this Walk. is what, I've already cooked this, and okay. it's just, just cooked it just so that it's nice and tender and added some seasoning. And now we're gonna shred it, right? This is how, yeah, so if you're gonna make like a pulled pork or a pulled chicken like we did over here, this is all, this is, how easy is this? And it's just coming apart yeah. so easily. You just, you just shred it with with two forks, or if you had, like sometimes I'll be wearing gloves and I'll just like kind of just really get, get in there it with my hands. And then what I've made here, and for our class, our, we have a virtual class tonight. I know. And it's a Super Bowl a class. Bit. This is um, buffalo chicken tenders. And this is made from jackfruit too. Yeah, so this has wheat gluten in it, and then also j plenty of jackfruit to give it the kind of that terrability mm -hmm. that you're getting here. That consistency. Here. Yeah. And it definitely has a nice consistency. What's the kind of flavor profile on the jackfruit at its young, young and mature, or immature? I yeah. Guess, well, no, that's that's right. That's the right way to say it. It there's like no flavor. I mean, so you can season it however you want. That's exactly right. So it's kind of like a tofu where it's going to soak up the flavors around it. And, but it, as it gets older, matures, it's again, very, very sweet. And you're not gonna be cooking savory dishes with the really, you know, sweet, the mature sweet. jackfruit. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So you can go ahead and make the savory dishes. You've talked about those buffalo jackfruit bites, but what about this dip over here? Okay, so this is a buffalo jackfruit dip and it is gluten-free. And so we've used tofu, cashews, our jackfruit. Um, I've, I've made a buffalo sauce and it is just decadent. It is so, so, I can't wait so to good. Try it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, you know, it, it is a treat for for um, for the big game. Um, and then we're also doing a quinoa buffalo bite Ooh, as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Tell yeah. us about the classes that you have coming up. One tonight, it's virtual, and then you have another one in person. Walk us through some of the recipes you'll be making. Oh my gosh! So this, everybody, I've done this um, buffalo bite class a couple of times, and it fills up immediately because everybody loves buffalo right oh, so and good. they just love they, they love they love the little chicken wings or the bites and then of course we have a little bit of ranch here and then the buffalo or the buffalo um everybody loves a dip right oh, i mean uh, come on 
<laughs> you got to have a good dip. You got to have a good dip for the big game. So don't forget your veggies for that or your your chips and then just dig into these and everything is 100% cholesterol free because we don't have any animal products either. Oh, and I so, love that. It's a good healthy way to celebrate the big game and not only is it a healthy way to do that, you are providing people information on how to maybe transform their bodies, heal from the inside out, especially with plant-based living. Plants can taste pretty darn good. You, you just know? have to know how to see You, you have just to know what you're doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And you have to know why you're doing it, right? You know, because even if something does taste really good and you're not used to making it, you have that kind of that little bit of, oh, I'm that trying to re mm -hmm. reverse my heart disease or reverse my type 2 diabetes, lose a little bit of weight, clear up my gut flora, whatever it is. Plants do all of that. Healing from within. Healing from within. And you can heal from within with Karen Dugan, the STL Veg Girl. She has two classes coming up this weekend. We'll make sure you have access to all of it on our website at studiostl.tv. You can also give us a follow on social media on Instagram and on Facebook at Inside Studio STL. I want to encourage everyone to just take out your phones, head to your desktop, give us a like and a follow on Facebook and on Instagram as well. 